And um, as you have well heard of, uh, he is such an adventure, right? He uh, circumnavigated the globe, uh, explored North Pole. I, I, I had no idea he did that. I just figured that out last week. I was like, wow. And he also went to mountain of Himalayas. And yeah, I'm so honored to have someone, um, you know, who can just really share that experience. And everything that he's going to share is really rooted into the Bible, right? And we just saw the video, like, do not fear. And I'm sure he had that uh, fearless mind given from Christ. Without further ado, I will um, this time uh, invite uh, Deacon Donald Kang. And I want you to really give your biggest hands as you come out. All right. All right, thank you, Pastor Han. Uh, let's all pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, and we thank you for bringing us to this house of worship. We thank you especially for our kids here, and we ask that you continue to bless them, watch over them, and protect them, and show them the path, the way. And Lord, thank you for this chance to share my story today about my adventures. In some ways, I hope to tell, you, tell them about the glory of God and having faith in you. Lord, thank you for all that you do for us. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we die for our sins. Amen. Amen. <coughs> all right, guys. How are you guys doing? Yes. All right. Ready to hear some, some uh, story of adventures? Yes. Okay. So, thank you, Pastor An, and I'd like to thank uh, Pastor... Uh, Go and uh, DJ for giving me this opportunity to talk to you guys. And they asked me to talk about how faith and, you know, believing God has helped me in my life as I embarked on, you know, these adventures. So, why am I here? Because like Pastor An said, I've done some really amazing adventures. So I've done a total of five adventures, okay? And I dedicated a significant amount of time doing this. The first one was sailing across the Pacific in a sailboat. Second was going around the world in a boat alone. And I dedicated four years of my life doing that. And third was me and my friends, we tried to climb one of the tallest mountains in the world, the Himalayas, in Pakistan. So four, and that was pretty cool too, going to the North Pole. Dedicated nine months of my life doing that. And then the fifth, and the most adventurous adventure of them all, which I'm still living to this day, is being dad to Maureen and Anthony. And that's the most challenging, okay? <laughs> Growing up, I was always fascinated by adventures, uh, National Geographic, uh, you know, reading about or watching Jack Cousteau, and you know, you guys know Star Trek, right? Yeah. Okay, the adventures of Captain Kirk and things like that, uh, I really liked it a lot. And when I got into college, I wanted to do something, something amazing like that. But I set that as my goal at the time, to become the first person, first Korean to sail around the world in a sailboat. Okay. okay. In order to achieve your dream, what do you need to do? So I learned how to sail, how to navigate, uh, learn how to read the weather, how to work on the boat, ventures. And I read, you know, Bible verses like this, and I espe especially like this, you know, about the mustard seed, having the faith of mustard seed. How, how big do you think a mustard seed is? Have you guys ever seen a mustard seed? Like really, really small, right? Really small, tiny. And he says that if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, 
then you could move mountains. Refrigeration takes a lot of power. I did not have any, any uh, refu refrigerator. I only have two solar panels. That's not enough to have a refrigerator. So I only ate canned food, lots of rice, potatoes, onions, and cup ramen. I'm so sick of cup ramen. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing that I like to point out, I don't know if you guys see that there in the, up in the upper right corner, Monopoly. Yeah, I don't know why I carried that with me. I soon realized it's, it's, it's pretty difficult to play Monopoly by yourself. <laughs> Middle So you guys enjoy that? Yeah. Okay, so right after that, I was out. So, so I was out, I, I did some interviews with some TV stations and uh, I, some people recognized me on the streets, which was kind of freakish at the time. But, <laughs> but and then I had a great honor of meeting uh, the president of South Korea at the time, Kim Young Sam, invited me to his, his official residence, the uh, Blue House. So that was a, a truly great honor. But I still come across people who said they read my book and really enjoyed it. And I also <laughs> was lucky enough to make a, a TV, uh, TV commercial at the time. Uh, so that was, that was actually a lot of fun. So you guys want to see it? Yes! <laughs> So everything else other than consumption, like washing the dishes or brushing my teeth, I use salt water. And, and shower, unthink of. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no shower for two months. Yeah, I remember that one time I, I when I stopped in Hawaii, okay, and then I had I hadn't taken a shower for such a long time. Went to there was a McDonald's right off the dock there. Went into the McDonald's, everyone's like covering their nose. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I had to uh, tell them, hey, I just, I'm, I just came off the boat, fresh off the boat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a, a literal meeting today, right? And sometimes I had to dive down and uh, clean the bottom. And it was also a chance for me to visually inspect uh, you know, the, under, on the bottom of the boat. The worst storm that I got into was between LA and Hawaii. Uh, it started to blow 20, 30, 40, 50 knots. That's about 70 miles per hour for two days. And I could not be outside, okay? Because the waves, the winds, it was just too much. They're crashing all around. I retreated, retreated back inside, locked myself in. It got dark and then the waves started crashing on top of, on top of my boat. And they made this, this boom, this like really loud cracking sound. I thought that was it. I was so scared for my life. I, you know, I prayed so hard. I prayed to the Lord. Lord, please, you know, save me, help me, give me the strength, you know, to overcome this fear. And, and somehow, I mean, the Lord answered my prayer. I know it's kind of, but that's the uh, symbol of the, uh, the fish, right? The Christian fish, right? So I had that on the, for the entire around the world, world trip, trip. And if you ever go to Busan, and my boat is in Busan right now, you, you get to see my bus, uh, boat, it's still on the, on the boat. And that's actually helped me out a lot too, because uh, I go to places, people look at that, and they, they immediately recognize that I'm Christian. And there's that, that brotherhood that's, or, you know, that's established. And I got so many people, so many churches and people uh, that I got help from. Uh, so I'm forever grateful for that. So don't be ashamed to <coughs> flaunt the fact that you are Christian, right? I mean, I got to go to all these neat places, the North Pole, the mountains, and the oceans. 
And that just reaffirmed you know, my belief in God and Jesus Christ. Because I got to see like life, like the God's, you know, the greatest creation up close. The, the beauty of it. In the middle of the ocean where you think there will be no life, I mean, there's so many birds, whales, dolphins. It was just amazing. You go to the North Pole, it's just uh, so beautiful. And then I see birds. And then same with the, with the mountains in the Himalayas. Uh, that just reaffirmed you know, my belief in God. And also, God saw me through. Whenever I was having difficulty, I prayed to Him and He answered my prayers. And I especially like this uh, Deuteronomy, you know, chapter 31. Verse 6, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. So just remember that the Lord will always be with you. Okay, whatever that you guys decide to do in the future, be a doctor, nurse, a teacher, whatever, mechanic, whatever it is that you guys, just always remember that, you know, the Lord, the God, Jesus Christ is with you each step of the way, okay? Yeah, and after you, yeah. What grade are you in when you start, first started like traveling? I mean like, yeah. Uh, I was 19. I was uh, second year of college. 19 years old? Yeah, uh, after I went into uh, to UCLA. Yeah. It's really like a um, old senior then at UCLA. Yeah, so 19, and then I, I went back and forth several times. So, so I, I entered UCLA in 1988, and I graduated in 2001. I'm probably not a good example to follow in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. How do you deal with being lonely all the time for three years? Yeah, I mean, that's, you, you spend time just, you know, uh, just, you know, I listen to a lot of radio and just, that, that's that's why I don't want to do it, man. Again, it's it's, it's it was too it was too hard because I like people, I like hanging out with people, and just going on a hike. I mean, I, I don't want to do things alone anymore. Like even going to the movie theater alone. I mean, that's that's scary for me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, were there any like really like historic moments that like you missed out on or like that you didn't know about because you like you know the. Excellent question. So, so I come back, okay, in, in, in 97, oh, 98, okay, and, and then, okay, I get a job, and then people start to talk about Beyonce, right? <laughs> and then I said, who's Beyonce? They're like, they, everyone's looking at me, where you been? I said, well, I've been sailing, man. <laughs> True story, man. You know, like, going on food, I'm sure that's fun, all right? But this wasn't a food. This was like uh, kind of being locked, locked in in a solitary confinement. <laughs> Antisocial when uh, out there? No, no, after you got back. No, no, not at all, man. I, I love people, man. That's why. That's why I don't want to do this, something like this, ever again. I, I love being being around, and I, I like. And one thing that I like to say is that I know we're running out of time. Is that I had many chances to tell my story like this, invited. To, to give speech about my adventures. Back then, I was kind of shy, not really comfortable with public speaking. But now, late, recently, I decided, you know, I, I have a story. I have a really good message, you know, about my adventures, about, you know, my faith in God. So I decided to really try to go out there and tell, you know, to as many people as I can uh, my story. So, so, hope you guys enjoyed it, okay? If you have any other questions, thank you for asking me. Guys, um, thank you so much. I really want to say uh, thank you to uh, Deacon Khan. Um, but one uh, verse that you know God really reminded me was uh, Genesis chapter 12. God says to Abraham, His very uh, first promise to go from uh, your your household. Right? You guys are living in America where there's so much freedom. It is the only country that offers the most freedom. And you guys, as a teenager, there's so much uh, oppression, there's so much threats, there's so much limits that society put on us. <coughs> But God gave Abraham dreams, and he's giving the same God to him the harness, the equipment, right, the fame, all this equipment. But God has given us the faith, right, that there's no reason to fear. There's no reason to be afraid. 
and you go into the pillars of society where you realize the dreams and you extend the kingdom, right? And uh, once again, I'm just so thankful that um, our church has, uh, you know, this precious um, individual who can offer this great testimony. Like, it's his experience, right? And we can't go against it because it's something that he experienced. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we can, uh, remaining, we'll just end our uh, seminar and uh, Sunday worship with prayers. So can we all just close our eyes? Let us pray. Lord, thank you so much uh, for this seminar. Thank you so much for this uh, testimony, Lord. Lord, this is, a sailing is just so uh, significant because it is, uh, it is a metaphor of life that we're living. Lord, you've given us this life to live. And you've given us this 70, 80 years ahead of us, Lord. And we want to really be courageous. We want to just not fear and not be afraid of all the threats that Satan's giving to us. Lord, because you've given us that equipment of faith. Lord, we want to be that person. We want to be the teenagers who could really dream big and go out and establish families, establish careers that glorify you, Lord. And if there's any tendency that shrinks our visions, Lord, we want to just wipe up this um, dust. We want to just wipe off that water. And we want to just really glorify you by giving our life to you. Thank you so much for this precious speaker, Donald Kang. And if there's any questions, let it be the six inspirations and challenge to all the members of CKBC Youth. Thank you so much. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have any questions, guys, please remain. Uh, he's here.